Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. It's Steve, and today we're talking about face mask recon. When you send in your masks, you're either an individual or you're an entire team. Either way, they go through the same process. Your masks come in, the boxes get opened, and they get sorted. Then they get put in baskets to go through a stripping process. When they come back from the stripping process, they're ready to get prepped for dipping. This means they get hooks and wires attached to them so they can get dipped in the thermoplastic powder coating one by one. We have 35 standard colors, but if you're looking for nickel, chrome, or paint, you can email us at sales at greengridiron.com and we can help with that. There has to be the perfect amount of airflow going into the hoppers. They have to get cooked for the exact amount of time. And this gets painstakingly done by hand, mask by mask. But whether you're the Dallas Cowboys, or if you bought a beat up mask off of eBay that you wanna bring back to life, you get treated the same way. Once the masks are expertly coated, they get hung to dry. From there, they go over to the next step where the wires get clipped and they're ready for a Noxy certification label. The face mask gets bagged up or gets assembled on a helmet, which you bought from greengridiron.com. Whether you're in the USA, Canada, Germany, Mexico, or almost anywhere in the world, we recoat your face masks and bring them back to life for 25 bucks plus shipping. You can expect the turnaround time to be between one and two weeks, whether it's five masks or 500 masks. It really is an art. And our guys have been working in the back in production for years. Corey, especially as we call him the chef, is going on, man, I don't know, seven or eight years. And we're lucky to have such a supportive staff. So if you're ready to get your face mask looking brand new again, greengridiron.com is for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.